Good morning and welcome to my Tuesday. I've got a busy day today. I will be commuting halfway across South Wales by public transport today to get to my boyfriend's house. This evening we've got a band rehearsal and tomorrow I'm doing some filing in the office and maybe a bit more than just filing as well. Not quite sure yet but he's got something lined up for me. My printer's been playing up but I finally managed to print out the lyrics to the spoken bit of Thriller for the boys in the band to fight over. Not quite sure which one of them is doing that yet. I've been mostly desk based since I got up this morning. Morning. I have also been doing a bit of housework, I've had a bath and hair wash and uh, found my whistle because I lost it but it was in my room all the time. <laughs> and before I can leap up into action I have got a few more desk based jobs to do. One of them is to email a potential customer back, gig customer, who wants details about how the evening might run, what instruments are in the band and just how a Kaylee might work generally. Um, so I'm gonna crack on and make that priority number one. Right, I've done that and I've saved it as a Word document as well because it's the sort of thing we get asked a lot. So I thought, mm -hmm, let's be organized. I can paste it over into another one and just change any individual details specific to that event. Anyway, right, believe it or not, I need to order another lead for my music bag because the one I bought, for some reason I managed to get six meters and I thought, oh, that's okay. That'll actually be quite handy. But IB came in, spied it and he was like, <sighs> me want had the hearts on stalks coming out of his eyeballs kind of thing so he's like can I buy it off you I would want it for my PA so I thought well okay uh, so I'm gonna go back to um, the drawing board on that I've just checked the order on the last one I had a 20 meter last time okay yeah my old one is definitely six meters and that's what I want again much time and trawling later can't find one they don't have them on eBay I don't think they have them on Amazon either so Oh, well, it's not urgent. It's the sort of thing I can buy from a music shop in person, so it's just a matter of going into town. I'm going through Cardiff today, but I'm only going to have 20 minutes between trains. I won't have time to go shopping, and it's too late to get an earlier train, if you know what I mean. Um, anyway, speaking of going, I am going to treat myself to going a little bit early to go via Greg's to pick up a pasty for my lunch. So... I shall eat en route and I need to go in about 25 minutes or so maybe 20 so I'm gonna pack up my bag now and speak to you when I'm on my way we've got a rainy day happening it would seem I have to finish that off on the train now. <laughs> Poke it under my mask. The train came just as I was tucking into it. And look, I did something really out of character. I went to a corner shop and bought a single chocolate bar for myself, which I never, never do. I only ever buy multi-packs from B&M bargains and things like that at a fraction of the price. But anyway, I fancied a treat hazelnut flavor, apparently. I'm planning to have a good old stint at Portuguese learning today on the train. It's a perfect opportunity to do it. I can't get distracted by my laundry. Keep your distance and brush or sanitize your hands regularly. You will shortly be arriving at Trafford. Please remain seated while you wait for your passengers. It's ever so dark out there, dark and rainy. I saw that storms are forecast for Wales. Yeah, Wednesday. For the whole of Wales, winds up to 50 miles an hour. Yay! Doing so much better today. The ones I forget are the most basic ones. It's ridiculous. I don't know why. go 
there's my train. <laughs> I'm 20 minutes early actually. So that's all right, I don't mind. wandered onto platform one even though I'm just getting picked up from outside because I'm quarter of an hour early so I'll just sit and text IB from here and keep dry it's a bit more pleasant than waiting outside in the rain I love traveling I can't I can't ever go off it it's and I'm only going to my boyfriend's house it's not like I'm going on holiday or anything but and you know it's such a routine route but I love it <sighs> you get to have loads of time where you just sit down and you can just amuse yourself with whatever you've brought with you <laughs> you're not at home you're not sort of feeling compelled to get on with housework as it springs up because you can't i like make myself all cozy on the train in my little nest you know with my snacks and my iphone or my books or whatever i've got with me to get on with yeah love it <sighs> right well i shall text his lordship then most likely he's going to be late because he always gets held up by work Oh, behold, we have a lovely dumper truck. Yeah, true to form. He's running five minutes late. Only five minutes though. So I'm gonna sit here and uh, just enjoy observing the trains and do some more Portuguese for 15 minutes. Brilliant. I'm doing much better at it today, actually. I thought like my brain was malfunctioning yesterday, but I think what's happened was, I think maybe the gaps between the revision sessions were too long. I think if I do it every day, it's going to be better and I didn't realize I had about 125 words and phrases <clears throat> in my app right I'm gonna crack on with my app well that was a bit easier to go through the whole lot with only 15 in that set so yay I'm gonna head out the front now and wait for my boyfriend because he's due in eight minutes let's go that's a nice multicolored one Tigorbeis, Hope House. It's a bit more Welsh for you. This was for Pippa on Worms Eye View. She's learning Welsh. Forf a fan. There you go. This double thing makes a f sound. Just one F is more of a v sound in Welsh, just so you know. And this is the a fan. There we are, way out. That was an impromptu Welsh lesson. There you go. Here we go again. I'll be so glad when we don't have to wear masks anymore. I, I paid a bit extra to have special coating on these lenses so that you can normally see my eyes when I'm filming myself because I don't have reflections. Unfortunately, I'm a bit wary about rubbing chemicals on them to demist them because I don't want to take the, uh, the old surface coating off them. So I'm not. So I'm just going to wait here for a bit. It seems to have stopped raining for the time being. Good. I suppose another reason I like travelling on public transport, just even routine routes like this, is it just triggers off memories of like going somewhere more exotic or more exciting. I used to even get excited walking through Cardiff bus station to college as a teenager because I used to walk past the National Express bus bit and it reminded me of like going on holiday somewhere via an airport because we'd get the National Express airport link coach to it, you see. I'm distracted because somebody's staring at me. It's really funny. <laughs> we are crawling along at a snail's pace, aren't we, IB? Making very slow progress towards home. But the plan for when we do get home is he's going to practice downstairs and I'm going to practice upstairs. Music, that is, for the gig and um, then have dinner and then have an actual rehearsal with Dan in the evening and then tomorrow I'm filing in the office. Come on! Oh wow, I am a hideous colour. <laughs> I don't know if I can use this shot. Okay. <laughs> it's very dark in here. I'm actually in what is Isabel's room in IB's house because I'm going to practice my flute in here for about an hour now and IB's going to practice downstairs I think. Mind you that said he was fixing his curtains when I left him. He gets distracted with things very easily. I'm gonna give you a little tour of what is Izzy's room but she never comes here at the moment because now she's old enough 
she just doesn't tend to come with me. Anyway, the lighting's going, so <laughs> we've just got one very dim light light in the room. But anyway, this is her little bed, little bedside table, or little paints. This is her little desk. What have we got here? Ooh, compound interest and depreciation. We can probably get rid of that now. Excuse my phone going off. Um, ooh, there's an umbrella, some little games. Ooh. Oh, she's got some money in there. She's forgotten about that. What's this? Oh, past paper for maths. We can get rid of that now as well. She's got some fairy lights, a Doctor Who posters, or oh, Sherlock, a sloth, squidgy thingy. <laughs> she's painted that, I do believe. And that, I think that's a card from my dad, that one. What's this? Oh, it's a light. I think my mum bought her that actually. Look at this old fashioned fireplace. You can tell how old this house is. Isn't that beautiful? Yay. Now that's better lighting. Um, you're probably wondering why on earth am I in Isabel's room? Well, it's because the neighbor's in, you see. The neighbor is in. So if we're playing here, then we've got two rooms and a hall and another closed door between us and her, you see. So that way, she shouldn't hear a thing. It's 7 p.m. I've been editing. I did about three quarters of an hour on the flute, about a quarter of an hour on the whistle, and then did some editing for, oh, I'm not sure, maybe 45 minutes, something like that. Anyway, IB and I have decided we're going to start cooking at seven. I say cooking, I'm going to make a fancy salad, and he's just putting something in the oven. But he's got some very peculiar noises coming out of his music room. Can you hear that? You all right in there, IB? Can I work out how to use this? What on earth are you up to? Uh, <laughs> right, I'm going to go make a salad. You need to put something in the oven. Okay. <laughs> He's got a big smile on his face. He was claiming not to be enjoying himself earlier, but I frankly don't believe it. I think he's loving this. Boys with toys, you know. Yeah. For the Ad is that for the Adams family, that one? No, that is the Monster Match intro, and this is the Thriller intro. Uh Very good. Oh, nice. Have you got any Adams families ones on there? That yeah. The Adams family samples are on the first lap. Oh, can we hear them? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta love Halloween gigs, haven't you? They're, they're worth the effort. Right, I'm gonna make food. We'll be eating soon is my legendary salad. I did too much so we can have some tomorrow as well. Um, in the oven we've got these all pastry thingies, Stilton and mushroom parcels and also some salmon for good measure. What a feast! Oh yummy! About to tuck in. past 11 at night. We've been rehearsing since about eight o'clock. Shattered now, stopped not that long ago, going to bed soon. <laughs> Dan is still here, I think he's just about to leave. But anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog because it's late. But if you've enjoyed this video, could you please give it a like? It really does help the channel to grow. I so appreciate it. And if you're new here and would like to follow more of my story, do hit the subscribe button and I'll see you in the next one.